The UFC president's new venture has been branded as pure exploitation. One fighter was left completely unaware of his surroundings. After being brutally knocked out in the debut episode of Dana White's new controversial slap fighting series, Power Slap League. Slap fighting is a sport where two fighters take turns slapping each other with an open hand. Fights can be one via knockout or decision with judges operating on a 10-point must system e.g. 10-9, 10-8. Based on the striker's effectiveness and the defender's reaction and recovery time. Unlike combat sports such as boxing and MMA where the aim is to hit and not get hit, slap fighters are expected to take turns dishing out and receiving blows, which has come under considerable criticism. Those criticisms only became louder after the event's first contest between welterweights Chris Thomas and Chris Kennedy. Having won the coin toss, Thomas opted to slap first and delivered a thunderous blow which rendered Kennedy unconscious. Kennedy lay motionless for an extended period of time while his adversary circled the podium to see if he would respond to the 30-second recovery. Period. Eventually, the fight was called off and Kennedy sat up with the aid of medical professionals. One doctor said, you can sit on your butt right now. The doctor is next to you okay you got knocked out. Kennedy replied with slurred speech, got knocked out doing what? Was I fighting? Kennedy had not only forgotten why he had been knocked but also what he was doing in the arena in the first place. Neuroscientist Chris Nowinski one of the leading experts on concussions, reposted a video of the knockout to his social media, where he branded the UFC president's new venture as pure exploitation. This is so sad. Note the fencing posture with the first brain injury. He may never be the same, Nowinski tweeted. Dana White TBS should be ashamed. Pure exploitation. What's next, who? can survive a stabbing. Nowinski's criticism comes after he posted a viral clip of a separate slap fighting event. Earlier this week, in which the left side of a combatant's face swelled up like a bowling ball. I believe adults can choose to do dangerous jobs if they understand the risks reasonable efforts are made to protect them. Nowinski tweeted. But head hits with no defense is just sad. It reminds us that people who don't take the risks often exploit those who do. Responding to the recent backlash, White said, we spend the money to make sure that we have two healthy people in there with proper medical attention during and after the fight. These are all the things we need to educate people on. Just like we needed to educate people on mixed martial arts. But, in slap, they take three, five slaps per event. Fighters in boxing take 300,400 punches a fight. And guess what? You know what my answer to that is. If you don't fing like it, don't watch it.